Good evening and welcome to Lake High School for tonight's district championship before the, between the Lima Senior Spartans and the Perryburg Yellow Jackets. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Scoop Miller. Scoop, you know, tournament trail, we're moving down it. Daver game becomes bigger and bigger with more pressure and more pressure. But this matchup tonight, a very familiar one with two squads that know each other very, very well. They really do. This will be the fourth time in five years they've met in the district tournament. And uh, will also be the third time for the district championship. And right now, during that uh, window, senior 3-0 against Perrysburg. But you know Perrysburg wants to uh, get that monkey off their back and get it done here tonight. I'd like to thank tonight's pregame sponsor, Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area for over 100 years. Taking a look at a few keys to tonight's matchup. Scoop, what do you think that each side needs to do on the ball to come away with the victory? Well, I think for Lima Senior, it's going to start with their defense. They've been so good over the years of getting points in their defense. That's something they've really kind of exploited Perrysburg in the recent years. And this is kind of a different makeup for both these teams. But I think it's going to be important for Senior to get points through defense. I think the other thing for Senior, they're going to have to rebound against this physical uh, Perrysburg team. But if they can execute in those two areas, they've got a great chance of moving on to the regional tournament for the seventh time in the last nine years. Both of these teams look to continue their road to Dayton as they want to take home the district championship tonight, move down the road to UT, and where maybe they can come away with a regional championship as well. When we return, we will have tonight's opening tip and starters. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back to Lake High School tonight. Starters are being introduced. We will take a look at the starters for both sides, starting with the Lima Senior Spartans. They are going to start number zero, Anthony Mosley. Number one, Brandon Moore. Number two, Jaquel Cotton. Number 11, Amari Addy. And number 23, Jagger Hutchins. For the Perrysburg's Yellow Jackets, their starting five looks like this. Number one, Gavin Fennekin. Number two, Austin Schultz. Number 14, Avery Hunt. Number 15, Andrew Hunt. And number 23, Matt Watkins. You know, Scoop Miller uh, alongside, uh, Nate Garlock alongside Scoot Miller, excuse me. I'm just excited about tonight's game. I love, I love championships. I love when we're playing to move on to that next round. And when you look up and down these lineups for both of these teams, you know, you, the, the immediate thing that jumps out at you is the depth. This Spartan team, they will run eight, nine, ten guys off of their bench. They love to come in and out. You talked about it during our Lima Chevrolet Cadillac pregame, making that defense turn into offense, and they use that speed and athleticism that they have all the way down that bench to their advantage. For Perrysburg, they got two monster players right now that have been lighting up the scoreboards. Austin Schultz, 17 and a half a game. Matt Watkins, 17 a game. And those guys are going to have to be big tonight. Yeah, they are. And both those teams, both those guys were first team uh, all Northern Lakes Conference uh, this year. They've had great seasons. They've carried the offensive load. This is a Perrysburg team that can put some numbers on the board. They come in averaging just north of 70 points per ball game. Ten times they've hit 70 points or more on the season. As we mentioned, these teams very familiar with one another. Lots of tournament experience against one another as well. And you, you got to know that that Perrysburg side, they know that they're catching this Spartan team in on a little bit of a down year, and there's that extra little bit of revenge in the back of their mind. Yeah, and the fact that uh, Perrysburg's a veteran team, they start three seniors, two juniors. You know, last year, uh, Lima Senior defeated Perrysburg in the district finals, 53-45 right here at Lake High School. Two years ago, Senior defeated uh, the Yellow Jackets uh, right here, 51-41. And then four years ago in the district tournament, uh, senior defeated Perrysburg at UT Savage Hall, and Senior made all the way down that state championship game where they lost on the last second shot to Westerver South. So we are underway. Opening tip will be controlled by Perrysburg. Matt Watkins brings it up, quickly gets it off into Schultz. Fennekin, he's going to hand it up. Yellow Jacket does do a nice job with ball movement, but that one just off the fingertips of Fennekin. And Looked like he might have taken his eyes off that one, looking at where he wanted to go before he caught it. Well, that's where that speed and pressure on defense will do to you. You do things a little bit uh, quicker than you're used to. So great uh, defensive start there for the Spartans. Now they'll get uh, first crack at it. 
So Brandon Moore brings it up for the Spartans on their first possession. Here's Amari Addy. Had a great district semifinal game in that overtime win against the Bowling Green. He has had a great season starting since day one as a freshman. Addy into the lane, passes it back out. Cotton moves back around, was trying to find more. Moore can't collect it. He was trying to cut as both teams have turnovers on their first possessions. Yeah, nice job by Matt Watkins there to come up with the steal. Now the Yellow Jackets uh, looking for the game's uh, first shot here. One minute in. Perrysburg moving around the perimeter. Not a lot going on the inside. Pull up jumper on its way off the side of the rim. Mosley pushes it up ahead. Cotton, he's going to take it all the way to the rim. Takes some contact. Can't get that one to go down. Schultz with the rebound, pushes it up for the Yellow Jackets. Watkins going to shoot the three, rattles that one in. Perrysburg takes early, 3-0 lead. Lima Senior, you see that explosiveness that they have. Trying to bring it up right away, try to get to the rim. Unfortunately, going to be another turnover for the Spartans. All right now, Perrysburg's transition defense has been very good. And for the Yellow Jackets, that's probably going to be the biggest key. They're going to have to find a way to slow down this uh, Lima senior team that loves to get out transition and try to uh, go up temple. You see Lima senior back out into that full court press that you're so used to seeing out of the Spartans. For At times this season, they went to that half court when they were struggling a little bit but decided towards the end of the season to revert back to the school court pressure for tournament play. Wanted to make sure that they had this established as they think this is their best chance to, as you mentioned, you know, force that defense into offense. Drive baseline at the rim, no good. Mosley comes up with it as Andrew Hunt couldn't get it to go down. Here's Jagger Hutchins, a sophomore. Cotton works up top. Goes over to his left, tries to hand off to Addy. Almost dropped that one out of bounds, but Addy able to gather it back in, so he'll reset the offense. A lot of movement out of the Spartans right now, but the Yellow Jackets have been right there, not letting them go anywhere. Lima well, Senior still looking for their first points here of this quarter as we're at the 5.30 mark of the first. More. Mosley comes up to gets it. And now here's Cotton. They're trying to go inside to Hutchins. Long pass over to Moore. He's going to drive baseline off the glass. And that one goes down as Brandon Moore gets Lima Senior on the scoreboard. Uh, great take by uh, the senior, Brandon Moore. He had that uh, cross-court pass to receive a quick first step. Made that look awfully easy. Here's Watkins, guarded tightly by Mosley, right around midcourt. Watkins gets it inside to Hunt. Hunt passes it back out. Fennekin, three-point try, and he hits it. Two three-pointers by the Yellow Jackets. Has them on top, six to two. Mosley, left-hand turnaround. That one's no good. Spartans get a couple looks at the rim. Can't get it to go down. Perrysburg's going to have another chance here to extend their lead. Watkins working against Moore with the crossover. Gives it up. Down into the corner. Three-pointer on its way. That one's going to be long. Patty pushes up ahead. Brandon Moore looked like he wanted to try to go down low to Mosley. Decides to pull it back out. Long three-pointer by Cotton off the front of the rim. Austin Schultz comes up with the rebound and brings it up for Perrysburg. Watkins feeds it down low. Vanekin tried to get it to the rim. It looked like he might have had it rejected, but a great follow by Avery Hunt as he gets the put back. Yeah, big time uh, rebound there by the senior who comes in averaging nine points a game. Oh, All right, Addy does a nice job getting into the lane and pulling up for two. A uh, great move by the freshman. He shoots so well off the dribble that time. Great elevation after he's able to get some dribble penetration into the paint. Another three-pointer from the corner on its way in. Good. Austin Schultz this time with the three-pointer. Austin Schultz. Oh, tremendous start for the Yellow Jackets hitting three three-pointers here in the opening four and a half minutes. Brandon Moore tries to answer. He can't connect, and it's going to go out of bounds off the hands of Anthony Mosley. 11 to 4 as Perrysburg has jumped out to the early lead. A couple of substitutions coming into the game for both teams. Four line the senior. Number four. 
Amarion Glenn into the game, as is number five, Isaiah Wilson. You'll see number 33, Matt Hubbard, coming in for Perrysburg, as is number three, Matt McCoon. So here's Watkins up top. Perrysburg has done a great job moving without the basketball. Two passes that time lead to an easy layup. Uh, great find by Andrew Hunt, who was second team uh, Northern Lakes League this season. Great execution on the back door. Here's Mosley, works down low. Double team comes, got a pass out of trouble. Finds Wilson, Wilson's shot is up and good. Oh, big answer by Wilson after the nice find by Anthony Mosley there to spot him open in the corner. Huge three there by the Spartans. Watkins bringing it up once again. He's done a great job here in this first quarter of commanding all the focus from this Spartan defense, and that's allowed his teammates to run free as we've seen them do a great job, move baseline and back door. And when they go to move, everybody's focusing on Matt Watkins up top, and these guys are wide open. Yeah, right now they're playing with a lot of confidence. This is the team I think uh, Dave Boyce's guys won to play. The fact that uh, seniors had their number here over the years. Fight for the loose ball, lots of contact. Fisher's letting them play. Ends up in the hands of Perrysburg. Schultz, he's going to drive. Right hand floater, no good. Mosley goes up and gets the big rebound. Wilson's going to push the tempo. Going to take it all the way in. He's going to be fouled. Isaiah Wilson's going to make a trip to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Uh, great job that time by the sophomore Wilson. That time, uh, Perrysburg a little bit tardy in their transition defense. You have to pick up the ball a little bit sooner. That time they waited till he got near the uh, paint. He draws the contact, plus he'll get a chance to shoot two to chip away at that Perrysburg lead. First one up and in. Austin Schultz is listed for that foul. It's his first, team's first. Brandon Moore coming into the game. Jaquel Cotton back into the game as well. Now this is something we're going to see a lot tonight. Nate, the fact that both these teams will go to their bench, so they're going to try to keep that intensity up in the defensive end. You know, right now, both teams are uh, trying to play a strong uh, overplay man-to-man -man defense. Very little switching going on out there in the opening six minutes of this contest. Wilson's second free throw. It's a little bit short as he goes off the front of the rim. Extra pass, trying to find a cutting. Watkins. Watkins had to go off his hands, but gathered it back up, was able to put it in for two. Uh, great second effort there by Watkins to come up with the loose change there. He's able to uh, get the finish. Five points for Watkins on the nine as Perrysburg's out to the 15-8 lead with a minute 20 left to go here in the first. Wilson trying to direct track. Ends up in the hands of Cotton. A little bit of a weave up top for the Spartans. Wilson going to drive, looks for someone to go with it. Feeds Mosley down low. He was left all alone, and able to cash in for his first two of the night. Uh, what a great find and a good way for Mosley to kind of get ignited offensively. Comes in averaging uh, nearly 11 points a game, gets his first deuce. Jaquel Cotton's going to get called for that foul. As he tried to go and cut off Matt Watkins, who had found himself running right by the defender. Ends up on the ground. He's going to take a seat. We see Gavin Fennekin come back into the game. Javon. Javion Walton, excuse me, he's coming into the game for the Spartans. As Lima Senior continuing to go to that bench, as is Perrysburg. Moore, off good defense as he sends uh, McEwen's shot out of bounds. It will stay with Perrysburg, though. It was a good job by Moore to get up get his hand on that basketball without picking up the foul. Well, Moore leads the Spartans in block shots on the year, and he adds one to the total there. That one was all ball, timed it perfectly. Kick back to Hunt. He's going to pull up with the right hand, gets it to go down. A great move by Avery Hunt. Comes in averaging nine points a game. Shot is up. That one's no good. And we're going to have a foul on the loose ball. This one is going to go on at number four, Amarion Glenn, his first. It'll be the team's second, third, excuse me. No, excuse me, it is the team's second. Yeah, right now the officials do an excellent job letting both teams play. It's something I think you expect when you get to this level. They're going to let you be a little bit more physical. So as a player, you certainly have to make that adjustment. But both these teams so well schooled. And uh, both these teams have been to this juncture so many times. 
Certainly not their first rodeo. Under 30 left here in the opening quarter. Perrysburg with the basketball. Looks like they may try to hold for the last shot. Watkins up top, taking direction from the bench, letting the offense get set. Watkins, armed by Wilson, gets rid of it. Schultz. Two leading scorers for this Yellow Jacket team. Moving the ball around up top. Wide open is Hubbard. He's going to spin in the lane, gets the shot up, and in. A uh, tough move by Hubbard, who came off the bench there, provides a spark, and that'll do it here from Lake High School. And after the first quarter, last second shot Simmons. by Matt Hubbard pushes the lead out to 19 to 10. As the Perrysburg Yellow Jackets has the lead on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. We're going to step aside and be back. You're watching Boys High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard is presented by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Welcome back to Lake High School. Nate Garlock alongside Scoop Miller as Harrysburg has the early 19-10 lead as their offense really exploded and honestly really seemed like they could do just pretty much anything they wanted on the offensive end. Yeah, they really executed at a high level. First of all, they knocked down three threes, which certainly helps your confidence, but they had five different guys uh, get in the scoring count there in the opening eight minutes. They also got some nice uh, sets, they executed well, some backdoor cuts. They also did a great job of, of getting some second chance points. So all around, a great opening eight minutes, but Lima Senior, certainly uh, they can just shore up their perimeter defense a little bit. I like how they've been rebounding here for the most part. They just have not really gotten a lot of easy looks inside. Here's Mosley trying to go inside, has to kick it back out. Good help defense by the Yellow Jackets. Moore gets it back up top. Here's Cotton, works against Watkins. Gonna go with the left hand. Thought about the pull up. Hesitation, floater, no good. Avery Hunt, he passes it down low to Hubbard. Hubbard had a nice first quarter as he had four points. Wilson goes for the steal, left Watkins all alone. Free man, but that one's no good. Good defense by Moore. Wilson down in the corner, got his defender to leave his feet. Could not find an avenue as Gavin Fennick did a nice job of sliding over for the help. Wilson works against the defender, gets it up off the glass and in. Nice job by Isaiah Wilson, Isaiah Wilson as he had a mismatch with Matt Hubbard but didn't let the size deter him as he went right at him to get the two points. Yeah, sweet move by the sophomore. He now has uh, half of the Spartan points. He has six of 12, but a great one-on-one -on -one move. Great recognition. He had the whole lane to himself. Watkins keeps it himself, gets all the way in. That one missed the rim as it went high off of the backboard and was touched by a couple of people before going out of bounds. Last touch by the Spartans. Fennekin triggers the inbound, gets it over to Watkins. Perrysburg does a lot of their work from up top, and then they find the open guy down low as they had one there. As McEwen gets himself tied up, and he's going to draw the foul. Yeah, great job that time, the Spartans. I like the adjustment there, trying to uh, get some help on those backdoor cutters. And that time, the help got there in time. They uh, got the deflection, came up with the turnover. So that's a big play. That's something that uh, senior needs to really hang their hats on, trying to get uh, some points from their defense. Now they'll get an extra opportunity here as the Spartans bring it up uh, two minutes in, trailing by just seven here. Andrew Hunt checked back into the game for Perrysburg, and Amari Addy comes back in for the Spartans. Here's Addy. He's going to work into the lane, kicks it down into the corner. Hutchins lets the three-pointer go. That one's no good. Addy trying to get the rebound, can't secure it. As Avery Hunt comes up with it, he gets it over to Andrew. Andrew back up top, long pass over to Fennekin. Nice find down low as Hunt had that one go off his leg and he'll go back to line of senior. Again, nice job of being physical inside there by the Spartans. That time was a high-low action from the Yellow Jackets. They got the ball to the post where they wanted, but good pressure defense forced the turnover. 
I think Dave Boyce is going to call a full timeout here for Perrysburg. Yeah, we'll have a timeout on the floor, so we'll step aside as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Coach Boyce wanted to take the Metzger Financial Services timeout here with 526 left to go in the half, get his team ready and set on defense. And you know, what I think I've liked so much to hear early on about this Perrysburg offense, when you watch them, you know, we've seen them get explosive and get to the rim, but they set it all up by moving very methodically. They don't seem like they're in much of a hurry, and then all of a sudden they just explode and someone's open at the basket. Well, that's the experience that they have that they bring to the table, and they also do a great job with that floor spacing, making it tough for a senior to try to double down on someone. Lima Senior now on offense trying to solve this Perrysburg defense. Abby has to pass this one back out to Cotton. Cotton has range, likes to take those threes, decides to get rid of it. Here's more. See Hutchins working down low. Can't get free though. Hunt doing a nice job on him. Moore takes the give and go. Hesitation going through some traffic. Going to go up. A lot of traffic down low. Moore still able to get the shot up, but can't get it to go down. Now here's Fennekin. Gets it up to Watkins. We've seen he triggers all the offense for the most part whenever Perry Burke starts on offense. Watkins tries to go baseline, spins back lane, kicks it back out, extra pass. Schultz for three. That one's good. Great ball movement by Perry. Awesome. It really was. Credit Watkins for that drill penetration that kind of broke that Spartan defense down. Then two quick passes later, the three ball there from Schultz. And the lead up to double digits. As you see Hutchins trying to get at the basket, not something you see too often from him. He's usually that sharpshooter from the outside. He's not able to finish at the rim. So Perrysburg now with an opportunity here to extend this lead. Almost comes up with the steal, it does Lima Sr. Perrysburg keeps it, Fennekin works against Addy. Addy tries to reach in, take it away. Fennekin has to get rid of it. Watkins, as Moore has guarded him tightly all game. Quick feet on the inside, Watkins with that explosive first step. Got just a little bit of space, that's all he needed as he got that one to go down and he gets the and one. Wow, tremendous execution once again by Perrysburg. They went with a four wide spread that time, got the ball to the post, and then you saw the nice backdoor cut there from Watkins. And uh, you know, he really didn't have much separation, but what an excellent bounce pass to get through there. And Watkins now going for the and one as Perrysburg has senior doubled up here, 24-12. Watkins able to connect on the end one, pushes this lead to 25-12. to 3.33 left to go here in the half, and Lima Senior's got to find some offense here quick. Yeah, nice 6-0 run by Perrysburg after the Dave Boys timeout, so his guys have really responded here after being held scoreless the opening two and a half minutes here of quarter two. Wilson, he puts up the three-pointer. That one's good. A big shot three by Isaiah Wilson. Wilson. He is having a great first half. Playing with so much confidence. He's coming in shooting north of 35% from beyond the arc. That's a huge three right there. Gives him nine points on the night and stops that Perrysburg run. Andrew Hunt gets rid of it. Fennekin. Tries to work with that left hand. Addy with the good defense. He's going to come over to help on Watkins. He has to kick it. Extra pass down to the corner. Watkins lets that three-pointer go. Ends up short. Addy comes up with Trying to put some full court uh, pressure on to maybe jump start that offense, get some points from the defense. And they're going to say that Amarion Glenn tipped it. And that's what caused it to go out of bounds. You can see Glenn's reaction. He doesn't think he touched that basketball at all. But either way, Perrysburg ends up with it still. Lima Senior's got to find a way to force some extra possessions here. That defense can usually be counted on to give them quite a few, but Perrysburg's done a nice job of handling that pressure. Schultz throws that one away, though. Wilson going to take it all the way in. And what a block. 
as Matt Watkins doesn't give up on the play and does a nice job making a silent block. On the other side, it's Fennekin as he runs the floor and finishes for two. Wow, what a backbreaker. Tremendous play by Watkins. He comes up with the uh, rejection there after it looked like Senior was going to get an easy deuce. Here's Hutchins trying to go down low as that one taken away. Hubbard, he's going to push now. Drops it off to Watkins. It's taken away by Glenn. Glenn was trying to push it up ahead to Anthony Mosley, but Andrew Hunt gets in the way as it goes out of bounds and will stay with the Spartans. Well, that's a big time play by Andrew Hunt because that time Senior had an easy uh, run out. But again, the pressure from the Yellow Jackets gets a deflection. It's going to allow them to set up now in the half court defense. That's been so effective holding the Spartans to just 15 points here in the opening nearly 15 minutes of this game. 110 left to go here in the half. Lima Senior with the basketball, trying to get some much needed points. Glenn kicks it over to Addy. Addy with the left hand, long pass over to Cotton, extra pass to Glenn. Glenn's three pointer up, no good. Moore comes up with the rebound. Put back, gonna be short. Another opportunity for the Spartans. Moore's gonna pull it out. Good decision by Brandon Moore that time as there was a lot of traffic down low and he waits for the lane clears, takes it all the way in and finishes for two. Oh, what a sweet move by the senior Brandon Moore, a much needed hoop, gets it down to 10 once again. The senior really stepped up the defense. They have three fouls to give here. Near steal right there in the backcourt by Glenn. Big break there for Perrysburg, they maintain possession. It almost looked like it was going to be a backcourt violation as Hunt had looked like he had gotten at least part of his body across. Another push off that time. The officials didn't call that one either. Hubbard, he's going to work down low, and he's able to finish as Hubbard just using his size to create space. Uh, he's been big off the bench. He now has six points for the Yellow Jackets. Gets that lead back to 12. Moore running. The baseline able to get that one up Brandon and in. Moore. And a great job of gathering that one in as it looked like Hunt had got his and hands on it. Time. Brandon Moore stays Very with it, Yellow able to finish for two to make this a 10-point game. That sweet move there by Moore on the reverse. He now has six points. But what a great first half by Perrysburg. They really executed in all phases. And they'll take a 10-point lead into the locker room here at the half. So we step aside for halftime. Don't go anywhere, though. We'll be back shortly as we will have uh, the Lima Chevrolet Cadillac halftime adjustments will be back on WOSN. Welcome back to Lake High School where we are at halftime. Our halftime adjustments are presented by Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area for over 100 years. Nate Garlock alongside Scoot Miller. It was fast-paced action. Lima Senior just could not quite seem to kind of get over that hump offensively. But, man, Perrysburg, they did an excellent job in that first quarter, continue to carry that momentum as they have this 10-point lead at halftime. So they are on top at 29-19. to 19. Let's take a look at some halftime adjustments. And, Scoop, what do you think either team has to do in this locker room here for Perrysburg to keep this lead and for Lima Senior to somehow solve this defense? Well, for Perrysburg, you want to keep uh, making those defensive adjustments. We saw three or four different uh, Perrysburg defenses in that opening half. They did a great job just kind of mixing things up. Senior never really got comfortable in the half-court set. So great job by Perrysburg. They need to continue to try to mix things up, not let uh, Senior get in any type of rhythm. And I think on the uh, you know Spartan side, you know they're going to have to play more downhill. I thought they did a little bit too much side-to-side uh, -side action, kind of fed into the uh, hands of Perrysburg, I thought, with their long, tall athletes that they have out there. I think they really have to at attack the rim. I think they also need to maybe get some uh, passes down to the short corner, make some rim runs, try to attack the middle of that Perrysburg defense. But again, uh, easier said than done against that Perrysburg defense. It's got a lot of depth. They've got a lot of athletes. They've got a lot of length out there. It's been tough math for that uh, senior offense to this juncture. You know, down 10, Lima Senior has some work they have to do, not out of it by any stretch. A little surprised that we haven't seen them try to drive a little bit more and try to see if they can't force some fouls. It's a pretty clean half on both sides. If you can get some fouls on that Perrysburg side, maybe that defense loosens up. Maybe there's some lanes there because they can't be quite as aggressive. Yeah, I think you're right. There's only five total fouls there combined there in the opening half, you know, by both teams. So I think you really have to play more downhill, really try to put some pressure on that Yellow Jacket defense, something senior 
really did not do enough of that first half. So, you know, both these uh, teams so well coached. Both these teams are going to have some great adjustments. I think we're going to be in for a fantastic second half. We will step aside one more time, and when we return, we will have the third quarter. You're watching Boys High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. I'd also like to, take, like to thank tonight's free throw sponsor, Lee's Lee Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, and Delphine. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. We mentioned during that halftime adjustments, a very clean first half. We only had one trip to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Isaiah Wilson went, split a pair. Other than that, up and down, not a lot of stoppage, a very quick first half as Perrysburg took advantage of that fast tempo to get the 10-point lead. They really did, and now Senior needs to take advantage of the fact that they're letting these guys play, so you have to make that adjustment as a player, try to be a little bit more aggressive, and Perrysburg comes out with a steal immediately by Hunt. The Yellow Jackets will set it up. Jagger Hutchins has that one poked away. Hunt almost lost it on the other end, but Perrysburg able to maintain possession. Hunt hands it off to Schultz. Schultz, he's going to drive through some traffic, gets that one off the rim. He had done all of his damage prior to that from behind the three-point line, but got to the rim that time to extend this lead. Lima Senior quickly comes down with the answer. Isaiah Wilson continues his hot shooting night as he keeps this a 10-point game. Yeah, Wilson doing all he can to keep his uh, teammates in it. He now has 11 points here. More than half of the Spartan offense here tonight. Watkins going to pull it back out. Let the offense get reset as he's trailed by Moore. Here's Andrew. Andrew hands it back out to Fennekin. Fennekin thought about driving for a second. Gets cut off by Hutchins. Feed down low. Extra pass, Andrew over to Watkins. Watkins for three, that one's good. Wow, tremendous ball movement by Perrysburg. You just can't really draw it up any nicer than that. Three quick passes without a dribble. Ends up being an open three there. And credit Watkins, he delivers again. Great move by Isaiah Wilson. A little hesitation look off as he had a little bit of space, used it to his advantage and got that one in. Isaiah Wilson trying to will his team to stay in this one. We know that Lima Senior can score quickly. They just got to stay within striking distance. Mosley takes that one off, hands it back to Moore. Moore is going to take it in, lays it up for two. A tremendous defense by the Spartans. You know, that time they kind of stepped up their physicality. They made some contact, but that's been very consistent. No call all night. So great job. They get two points for defense. They get it down to single digits, something we haven't seen since early in the second quarter. Schultz going to pull up from the three-point line. That one's going to be no good. Goes over the backboard, so it's going to go back to the Spartans. They've made this a nine-point game. It's been a while since it's been single digits. See if they can cut into this lead anymore. Well, you have to like the intensity of the defensive end by the Spartans. They just have to find a way to continue to play downhill and then go inside out if it presents itself. And he goes baseline, comes around, can't get that one to drop. As you see Hunt come up with the rebound. Good move by the freshman, just not able to get it to go down. Yeah, that was a big time move. A tough break there for the Spartans. That thing was uh, three-fourths down before it decided to pop out. Wilson cuts off Fennekin. He turns around with a jumper, gets that one to go down. Oh, Fennekin, great execution. He noticed he had a size mismatch, backed this guy in. And that nice quick uh, turnaround, Jay, gets the lead back up to double digits here for the Yellow Jackets. So here's Wilson. Back over to Addy. Spartan slowing things down a little bit. Now I want to get things going. That one's off the hands of Moore. Pass up ahead to Schultz. Three-pointer on its way in. Good. Well, Austin you, Schultz with a big three-pointer. Yeah, you talk about points from the defense. That time, Perrysburg gets three of them as Schultz uh, buries another three. And now the largest lead of the night here for Perrysburg at 14. Moses is going to be fouled as he was trying to find a cutting Jagger Hutchins. 
This foul is going to go on number 15, Andrew Hunt. It's his first, team's first. And credit Perrysburg, every time seniors had a little mini run tonight, they seem to have a big answer. And a lot of times it's kind of been initiated by that Perrysburg defense. Cotton step back three, no good. He just checked into the game as that one goes out of bounds. Avery Hunt was in uh, the vicinity. That one must have went off of him, so it'll stay with the Spartans. Lima Senior, and he needs some points here on this offensive possession. Hutchins, he's going to drive. Right-hander up, no good. Moore comes up with the rebound. Moore is going to drive now. He tries, other side of the basket, no good. Another opportunity, Moore, turn around, got his defender off the, off the ground. Hutchins flies in. Five different opportunities. The Spartans have yet to come away with points, and now we're going to have a whistle. Well, we're seeing some of that athleticism we talked about on the Perrysburg side. Some great opportunities there for the Spartans, but uh, Perrysburg giving up nothing for free. We saw a couple rejections there, but credit the Spartans are staying with it. Here's Mosley trying to find some room. Looked like he had it if he'd have gone back to that right side, but came back to the left hand. Can't get that one to go down. So a disappointing offensive possession that time for Lima Senior as they had six different opportunities but couldn't get one to go in. Hunt works against Hutchins. Good spin move up and under and in. Wow, what a move that time by Andrew Hunt. You can see why he was second team NLL right there. A sweet move in traffic. Made that look awfully easy. Now the high water mark at 16 points here for the Yellow Jackets. They continue to mix things up here. Right now showing a little 2-3 matchup uh, zone defense. Perrysburg in full control right now, but Lima Senior trying to see if they can get something going. Long pass to Cotton. Cotton takes it away from Schultz. Has to drop it off to Mosley, and we're going to have a foul. And right now, down 16. This is what Lima Senior is going to have to do. They've got to find ways to get this clock stopped. And even though they're not going to the free throw line yet, and they're still a little ways away from that, getting these fouls may loosen up some of this area around the basket. You're exactly right. Remember, Perrysburg only had two fouls the entire first half. They've already got three here in the opening five minutes of the second half. So, Senior has to continue to put pressure on that uh, Yellow Jacket defense. They have to find a way to finish inside as well. Wilson gives it to Mosley. Gives it right back to Wilson. Wilson's been hot all night. Drops it off to Cotton. Cotton's three-point try. Rattles in and out. No good. Rebound fought for. And ends up in the hands of Cotton. A uh, great hustle play by Cotton. That's a rebound senior really had no business getting. Wilson's going to drive, going to have another foul as it looks like Wilson will make another trip to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line for the second time tonight. A uh, great move once again by Wilson. Uh, that time, anytime you get a long rebound, you're going to find the defense kind of in scramble mode. He took advantage. He went right to the rack. He was able to uh, get good position, draws the contact. And now rarity tonight going to the uh, charity stripe. The first one by Wilson up and in. So he now has uh, 14 points and continues to carry the senior offense. Wilson lines up his second shot on its way. It is good. 27-41, Perrysburg on top. 2.41 left to go here in the third. See this full court pressure from Lima Senior trying to create some turnovers. Perrysburg able to get it up into the front court without much problem. Those free throws by Wilson ends a 7-0 Perrysburg run. And now the Spartans need to go on a run of their own here. Hubbard down low. Cotton just was on the wrong side. Fortunate for Lima Senior that Hubbard couldn't get that one to go down. Long pass up ahead to Glenn. Glenn up and under. That one's no good. Mosley jumps flying in, tries to tip it in. Can't get it to go. Watkins, extra pass to Hubbard. Hubbard can't get that one to go down, but he's going to get fouled. He'll make a trip to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Again, uh, credit Perrysburg. Great execution. I love how they have... Matt Hubbard, the 6'1 junior, who's been that spark plug off the bench. I love him in the middle there. He's such a strong presence out there. You want him in the middle. He's a good passer. He sees the floor. That time he recognized the backdoor cut. And now Hubbard's able to uh, get the first one up and in. So great execution again by Perrysburg. 
<laughs> Every time uh, senior seems to get a little spark going, seems to be a Perrysburg answer at the other end. Well, and I think you're seeing some just, just some great technical work from Perrysburg on offense as well. As you can see, they always seem to make that extra pass. Even down low that time, as McEwen had the basketball, his head was up. He knew his teammate was, at, he was looking for that pass instead of being worried about the basket. As Wilson comes down on the other end, makes up for the foul, gets that one to go down. He now has eight in the quarter. Uh, 17 for the game, a sweet move there by Wilson. Glenn read that pass perfectly. Going to be a blocking foul going against Watkins as the Marion Glenn does a great job of jumping the pass, attacking the basket. Now he'll go to the free throw line for his trouble. Yeah, tremendous job there by Marion Glenn. Again, they're starting to play downhill. That's the fifth foul there of this half on Perrysburg. And we've only gone uh, not even six and a half minutes, so much better job being aggressive, attacking the rim. The first of two up and in. So Glenn gets his first points of the night to make this a 13-point game. As Avery Hunt comes back into the game for Perrysburg. And Nate, you mentioned how Perrysburg loves to make that extra pass. That what makes them so difficult to defend, the fact that no one's going to go out there and force shots, try to get 20, 25 shots. They're going to find that open man, so you have to guard all five guys out there, and that certainly makes it tough for your defense. They look for that matchup they want. When they get a mismatch, they always go to it. Almost forced another turnover to Lima Sr., but Schultz gets it, and he drains the three-pointer. Awesome. Oh, what a play by Matt McEwen there to save that basketball in another dagger there by Schultz, who now has 14 points. Perrysburg takes a Metzger Financial Services timeout. We'll step aside as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back, timeout. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Also like to thank tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. So Perrysburg wanted to take the timeout after the big Austin Schultz three-pointer. He has two of those in the quarter, four for the game, as he has been extremely efficient tonight. He really has. You can see why they're scoring just over seven points a game. There's a great answer there by Anthony Mosley there as they get the ball in the middle there where they've been very effective here in the second half. He now has four points, gets the lead down to 13. Almost taken away by Brandon Moore as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, Moore's that guy that leads the uh, Spartans in steals. He almost had another one there to his credit, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> For senior, it uh, gets deflected out of bounds. The Jackets will reset it here. Probably being very patient here as we hit the 45 second mark here of quarter three. Let's see if the Spartan defense can hold them here, maybe force a turnover to get a shot of their own before the quarter ends. Feed down low to Hunt. Avery, turnaround jumper. That one's good, great touch. And we have a whistle. We've got a delayed game warning coming up, touching the basketball after the uh, ball went through the hoop. Or they're going to get a foul on that. So yeah, They're going to have a foul. It's going to be a push on Moore, I believe. It is, as that is going to be foul number two on Brandon Moore. So a very costly foul as Brandon Moore had, must have been a off-ball foul there as the shot went up. So Perrysburg's going to get this one back with 31.4 seconds Boy, left to go. Boy, that's unfortunate. That's a tough play, and now Perrys. Burke can be very patient again. There's Schultz in rhythm with a rare miss. But when it's your night, it's your night as Perrysburg had that one fall right back into their hands. And then Wilson gives this one back up. Watkins with 13 seconds left to go. He's going to drive, drops off Finnegan, extra pass to Hunt. Hunt gets tied up, lots of contact on the inside. Officials say no shot happened on the floor. So with 6.3 seconds left to go here in the quarter, Perrysburg will take it out underneath their own basket. Oh, Perrysburg playing at such a high level. Now they get to take the last shot, plus they'll get the ball to start the fourth quarter. They've got a chance to really get some serious separation right here. 
Hunt kicks it out. Finnegan readjusts for the three. That one's good. And that is going to bring the third quarter to a close as the Jackets take a 10-point halftime lead and turn it into a 20-point lead by the end of the third quarter. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back to Lake High School. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Scoot Miller. Tonight's free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Heading into the fourth quarter, Perrysburg is up big as they had a flurry there to end that third quarter, and they pushed their lead out to 20. Incredible execution that entire eight minutes by the Yellow Jackets. They're able to put uh, 24 points on the board against that uh, Spartan defense. Meanwhile, they held the uh, Spartans to just 14 points. They're able to uh, double that lead that they had at half, now leading by 20. You can tell this uh, Perry Group team has had a chip on their shoulder all night long. They've been so locked in, so focused. Remember, Lima Sr. has given them the uh, early exit uh, three of the last four years in the tournament, and they're determined to uh, get over that hump here tonight. Eight made three-pointers on the ninth for the Yellow Jackets. Hunt works to the inside, gets this one off the glass. Avery Hunt. Avery Hunt, he now has eight on the night. Again, you just have to guard everybody. They've been that good. They've had to be shooting nearly 70% here from the floor tonight. They've had everything going, but again, this is a focused team, a veteran team. Here's Wilson up top, getting instructions from the bench, Coach Simpson. Trying to continue to get his team to fight. He knows that they just need one big spurt here early in this fourth quarter to keep them in this. Wilson's three-point try, no good. Moore has this taken away. Finnegan had it poked away from behind by Mosley, but he kept it as Cotton now. He tries to take it away. Ends up in the hands of Watkins. Long pass over to Schultz. He's going to drive. Schultz puts it up and gets it to go. Austin. Well, everything dropping for the Yellow Jackets right now. A, a smart move there. From Schultz there, they overclosed out on him. He took it to the rim. There's another miss and another rebound here, this time by Avery Hunt. But right now, uh, Perrysburg in total control, looking for some further separation. Here goes Hunt all the way in. Doesn't even need to take a dribble. And Hunt is going to get the end one opportunity as he'll make a trip to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Yeah, great execution once again. You have to love the floor spacing, but uh, credit Avery Hunt. He makes a nice rim run. His teammates reward him. They give him the basketball. And that time, Senior a uh, little bit late there, trying to take the charge. And right now, the high water mark continues to rise here as the Yellow Jackets enjoy a 26-point lead. Spartans come up with the miss. Hunt now that it'll connect on the end one. It's a 59-33 game. Moore going to drive. Right hand off the glass. No good. Fight for the rebound. Ends up in the hands of Perrysburg. Long pass up ahead to Fennekin. Fennekin gets it off the glass and no good as Wilson's going to pick up the foul. And credit Matt Watkins. He came down with a tough rebound in traffic, but alertly looked for the next play. He saw it was in transition. Somehow he had just enough strength to get the basketball. Up ahead to Finnegan, and now he'll head to the charity stripe to try to put up point number 60, and he does. Finnegan able to connect on his first free throw from the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. He lines up the second, and it is good. 61-33. Isaiah Wilson with the basketball, 6-10 left to go. Addy tries to go, gets cut off by Schultz, has to kick it back out. Addy finds his lane now, drops it off to Moore. Moore tries to go up and under, no good. And we're going to have a foul as Matt Watkins will pick up his second. It'll be the team's sixth, as they had had a lot of fouls early, but have really calmed things down here lately. Brandon Moore now will make a trip to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line for two. And from here on out, uh, Senior will be in the uh, bonus, so they have to try to find a way to lengthen this game out. No better way 
Hampton to score points without the clock running. So a great job right there as Moore is able to connect on the first of two. Brandon Moore with nine points on the night, looking to get into double digits with this shot. And he does. Moore able to get his hands on that one. It's going to stay with the Yellow Jackets. You know, seniors doing all they can with their full court pressure. But this is a Yellow Jacket team that, that's so hard to pressure because all five guys out there handle the basketball so well. You know, even the 6'3", the uh, Finnegan, 6'4", uh, Avery Hunt, 6'4", Andrew Hunt, 6'3", Matt Watkins. All those guys handle the basketball. It makes tough matchups here when you're trying to get uh, full court pressure. Hunt, three-point try on its way, and that one's long. And he comes up with the rebound. Going to push the pace. Keeps it himself, gets all the way in, can't get it to go. Zion Jackson checking in game for the Spartans. Going to get the tie-in. Possession arrow stays with Lima Senior. Now Senior continues to have their struggles finishing inside. I love the opportunity they had right there. They had a two-on-one. They tried to draw the contact. Nothing wrong with that. But once again, Perrysburg was able to get that tie-up on a rebound, a rebound that Senior probably should have came up with. Three-pointer by Moores off the mark. Rebound comes down to Hunt. Andrew gets it over to Fennekin. He works against Jackson. Good defense by Zion. Fennekin nowhere to go with the basketball on that baseline. Finds a little bit of space. And as we have seen all night long, Perrysburg just seems to have a very quick explosion. Even when the room's not there, they can create it. Austin and Schultz. Austin Schultz continues to stay hot with that turnaround shot. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he now is up to 18 points. I'm not sure how you can defend anybody tougher than that. There's a great answer to the other end. Another Isaiah finish Wilson. there by Isaiah Wilson, who now has uh, 19 points. Watkins going to keep it himself this time. Gets all the way in for the layup. Had Matt some contact, but no whistle. It's now 65-37. Perrysburg wants to take the timeout. We'll take it as well, and we'll be back on WOSA. Welcome back to tonight's time, Alistair. Brought to you by Bensicar Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Also, I'd like to thank tonight's free throw line, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpark, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. 441 left to go on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard here at Lake High School in this district championship game between the Perrysburg Yellow Jackets and Lima Senior Spartans. And in this second half, it has been all Perrysburg. Yeah, it's just amazing what uh, Perrysburg done here in the second half. Their defense has been outstanding. Their offense has been flawless. And right there, Schultz comes up with a steal. He's going to lose up. We'll have a tie up. The error will belong to Perrysburg. Well, boy, you're right, Nate. I mean, this is a Perrysburg team that really looks like they're taking out years of frustration here being on the short end in the district tournament against Lima Senior. And you have to remember, it's been since 2008, the last time Perrysburg won a district tournament. So they also have that monkey in their back that they're trying to get rid of. But I've been told it's been over 25 years since Perrysburg has beaten Senior. So you know that's been weighing heavily in their minds all night long. Well, and you mentioned how this is a senior-laden team, lots of experience. All these guys have been around for those tournament back. losses yeah. here over the last four years. And you know that they wanted that one back tonight before their high school careers came to an end. And that last move by Watkins kind of sums up this game. That time, uh, a tough shot. He's spinning away from the uh, basket. Uh, Right-handed hook off the window and in. It's been that kind of night uh, for Perrysburg and a frustrating night for Senior. Hutchins going to let the three-pointer go. That one's no good. Moore comes in. That one's going to go out of bounds. 30-point difference here with 4.08 left to go in the game as Perrysburg is well in control. A couple of substitutions coming in. See Marion Glenn and Anthony Mosley coming into the game. Watkins going to throw it long out to Hunt. Hunt, see if he can track it down. He's able to, but has to save it in the hands of Hubbard. Hubbard, extra step. Some contact from Hutchins. 
And Hubbard is going to go to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Good, oh, great move again by Matt Hubbard. Here's a guy that you're really not worried about offensively. And what's he done tonight? Uh, Ten points. That time he was hammered. And yet he was able to get that up and in uh, no problem at all. And now he'll go for the N1, trying to get Perrysburg their 70th point here tonight. If he does, it'll be the 11th time this season they've hit 70. He rims it out, so they're stuck on 69, but we still have four to go here in this fourth quarter. And here's something that I did not think that we would talk about tonight is Lima Sr. is on running clock watch. Hunt goes up to get that one. As Andrew brings it up against Glenn. He's going to pull it back out. Hubbard. Spins, baseline, into the lane, loses the basketball, tips it back out. McEwen for three. Yeah, when it rains, it pours uh, not only on the drive here, but it continues to rain threes here for the Yellow Jackets. They now have uh, gone over 70. Hutchins able to answer with his own three-pointer. It's still a running clock, though, until this one gets under 30, as Perrysburg had a 35-point lead. Hunt gets it up to Hubbard, extra pass down to the corner. Schultz for three, and it's good. My goodness, Schultz uh, once again is able to connect from deep. He now has 21 points to lead all scores here tonight. Mosley down low. We're going to have a foul. This one is going to be a one and one situation as Anthony Mosley will make a trip to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throw Line. You can hit, see the Perrysburg bench hollering over the scores table. We're a running clock now. Need to get things going. 35 point difference. And that clock is running. It will only stop now as if this lead drops below 30 or on timeouts or injuries. It looks like we got some substitutions and things working out. So we'll step aside and be back with Anthony Mosley's free throws on WOSN. Welcome back to Lake High School. Anthony Mosley lines up his first free throw. Least Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, and Adelphus is tonight's Least Famous Recipe Chicken free throw sponsor. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Home Style happens here. Hubbard down low, trying to fight for the putback. That one's no good. He gets another opportunity, gets it to go down, and he will make another trip to the free throw line as the student section and the fans. I mean, you could almost feel that everybody in Perrysburg wanted this victory tonight. Yeah, you really can, and they got excited when the senior Carter uh, Petty's came in, and then Petty's delivered right away, and now he'll get the end one opportunity. Coach Simpson making some substitutions, pulling in his seniors, and Marion Glenn, as he embraces him on the sidelines. These guys have had a ton of success as a program. They have been around for a lot of big victories. They have done a huge part for this program. As they are now sharing a moment See Jaquel Cotton getting his time with Coach over on the sidelines. As Hubbard not able to make his first free throw. Pull up jumper, and that one's going to be no good. Rebound comes down to that one's number 11, Joe Dinda. Hubbard, he's going to shoot again. No, excuse me, that's not Hubbard. That's actually number 22, Carter Petty's. This one gets poked away. Final minute of the game. Three point tries on its way and good. Well, that time Zach Pamer with the rainbow three. And again, uh, Perrysburg can just do no wrong. An 80 40 game. You know, you're coming in, you knew that Lima Senior not quite having the season that people are used to seeing them have, but still a very talented team. You know, they won a tough game in overtime against Bowling Green a few nights ago. You know, you thought that this was going to be a dog fight, and Perrysburg just made sure that it wasn't. They came out from the very get-go, and they put their they put the foot on the pedal, and they never let up, even here into this fourth quarter. They never did. You could see it in their eyes. Didn't matter what the score was. They were locked in, going one possession at a time. And it's been great math for the Yellow Jackets. 
as they're going to pick up an impressive win here over Lima Senior to get their first district championship in 15 years. So Perrysburg's going to dribble out the clock as they're going to come away with the victory. They will move on and play in the region. We will step aside to wrap this and be back to wrap this one up on WOSA. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Welcome back to Lake High School, where the Perrysburg Yellow Jackets take home the district championship, knocking off Lima Senior 80-42. to And Scoop, I, we mentioned it a, a lot throughout the game because it was just so apparent. But coming into this one, Perrysburg had one thing on their mind, and they accomplished it. They really did. You know, uh, everybody thought that uh, Bowling Green would have been the perfect fit uh, coming in. That senior was able to hang on and uh, beat those guys in the uh, district semis. But to talking to head coach Dave Boyce for the Yellowjacks for the game, seniors a the team they wanted. You know, even though they're so familiar with Bowling Green in their own conference, beating them a couple of times, they wanted to see senior because they had some unfinished business they thought of, they thought they had, and they took care of tonight. And, and what a second half. They outscored senior. 51-23. Remember, this is a, a senior team that won 17 ball games. This is the good senior team. You know what Quincy Simpson's done in his nine years, 185 wins, just 49 losses. But tonight belongs to the Yellow Jackets, and they're moving on to the regionals. First time since 2008. The first time this season I've had a chance to look at this Perrysburg team, and it was just very impressive. Everything they're doing, very fluid, good ball movement. They always seem to know where each other was. Extra passes leading the wide open looks. And then Austin Schultz, he was just on fire from behind the line. I think he maybe missed two shots all night. Yeah, he was really efficient, uh, scored 21 points, and he probably took uh, eight or nine shots at max, you know. So he was, he was off the good, but uh, so was the rest of his teammates. They got great minutes off the bench. Uh, they got great great production uh, throughout and their record might be a little deceiving at 19 and 5 because they really beefed things up they played a lot of schools in Columbus they played a lot of schools out east and certainly the tough NOLs we all know but this is an impressive win for Perrysburg they now have won seven row 10 of 11 their only loss in their last 11 games was an overtime loss to co-NOL champion Anthony Wayne so certainly they're playing some great basketball at the right time. Perrysburg, congratulations as they take home the district championship. They'll move on to, I believe they're heading over to Akron for regional semi, and then the regional finals, they make that one, will actually move back to Savage Arena on the University of Toledo campus. So they get to actually play pretty close to home, which is good for them, good for their fans as they continue on to this trip to the University of Dayton. Yeah, what an atmosphere here tonight here at Lake High School. Uh, both teams brought it, but uh, Perrysburg uh, obviously a little bit better team tonight, and they'll move on. I'd also like to say th congratulations to Lima Senior. They had a lot of big wins this year, knocked off Toledo Central Catholic. They knocked off a lot of other uh, big schools. So a great season for them as well. You know what Coach Simpson can do. They will be back. This, this is the, not, uh, not the last time we will see them at this level in being out. Yeah, I totally agree. They also did a great job pulling out some tough wins you alluded to. They were 8-2 and two in single-digit games uh, this season, but unfortunately for senior, this was not a single-digit game. Uh, you just got to tip your cap to what Perrysburg was able to accomplish tonight. So that will just about wrap it up for us here at That's Lake nice. High School. I'd like to thank our sponsors one last time. Lima Chevrolet Cadillac Web Insurance Agency Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Metzger's Financial Services. We appreciate uh, you guys being with us here tonight on this Zion broadcast. Jackson. also like to thank our crew, everybody working in the cameras, doing the editing for us, all the hard work. All we have to do is sit here, watch basketball, and call games. We get the easy job. One final time from Lake High School. Perrysburg knocks off Lima Senior 80-42. For Scoot Miller, I'm Nate Garlock. Have a great night, everybody.